I'll play it now because we, we're really getting into analyzing it on an intricate detail. And you're right about everything you said. Here she is. This is Soundbite One with a little bit more context added in the lead up to her controversial comment. Back when I was district attorney of San Francisco, I was elected in 2003. I started one of the first environmental justice units of NEDA's office in the country focused on this issue. And in particular on the disparities, as you have described rightly, which is that it is our um, lowest income communities and our communities of color that are most impacted by these extreme conditions and, and impacted by, by issues that are not of their own making. And, and so women. we, absolutely. And so we and have women. to address this in a way that is about giving resources based on equity, understanding that we, we fight for equality, but we also need to fight for equity, understanding not everyone starts out at the same place. And if we want people to be in an equal place, sometimes we have to take into account those disparities um, and, and do that work. There it is. If we want people to be in an equal place, that's that's no one promised you that. No one ever promised you that. Go someplace else if you think you have a guarantee to wind up in an equal place to everybody else. Megan, you know what? You bust your butt. You do a fine job and have been in a, an excellent uh, reporter and commentator and, and everything else that you do for, for decades now. You deserve everything that you've got. And no one has a right to take that away from you. And that, that is why I say it's anti-human when they make these arguments that we will all end up in the same place. And by the way, uh, that communities of color are most impacted. Uh, I happen to live in Miami, which is Southeast Florida. So we were spared this hurricane, uh, but I've spent a ton of time throughout my life in Southwest Florida. My grandmother had a place on Sanibel, a little condo. That's the barrier island that got completely decimated. Uh, she yeah. got moved down there in the early 1970s before the bridge, which is now destroyed, uh, even existed. My parents have taken over the condo. The whole island is wrecked. There were trailer park communities on that island. I've been going down there for my whole life, 46 years. I never once thought about the color of anyone's skin. There were blue collar people. There are some people that have you know a nice amount of money and live in, in houses on the beach. But there are plenty of people in little one bedroom condos that come down you know, from Minnesota uh, you know, for that are the snowbirds that come down when it's winter up there. So it's like, this has nothing to do with skin color. But when you choose this set of ideas, when you believe that the woke ideology is the thing that is above us more than anything else, you will come off as a racist all the time. So she thinks she's saying something good, but you know what, for all those people that are down there with wrecked houses and that have lost everything, uh, I don't really think they, I don't think the hurricane was like, yeah, we're going to take out that house because they're black and we're going to leave those people because they're white. It's, it's such nonsense. Well, she's not the only Democrat who's coming out when they're full racist swing this week. Nancy Pelosi, a leader over in the House, at least for now, uh, comes out and, you know, she's pro-immigration, of course. She gives the tip of the hat of like, of course, we need to have a secure border, but we really need to get those immigrants here because who the hell else is going to pick the crops? All right, here she is. Uh, Soundbite six. We have a shortage of workers in our country. And you see even in Florida, some of the farmers and the growers saying, why are you shipping these uh, immigrants uh, up north? We need them to pick the crops down here. OK, so we the reason we need immigrants to come in is we need crop pickers. None of these people is going to be a doctor or a lawyer or a scientist. They're going to do menial, manual labor. And that's why we need them, because God knows I, Queen Nancy Pelosi, will not be touching the lawn. Well, it's so interesting because they completely want this thing both ways. Usually they'll tell us, no, we should bring these people because they are lawyers and doctors and all of these other things. Now, when push came to shove, suddenly, no, they're the ones who have to pick our crops. First off, I can tell you as a new Floridian, there, everything here is exploding in the in a good sense, meaning uh, it's probably not the right choice of words in light of what happened, but the that the economy is is doing incredibly well here. People are hiring left and right. People are spending money. Every store and restaurant across the state is packed. For her to say, you know, she also said immigrants, which the implication that these people are immigrants would imply that they are here legally, right? Mm. But they are not mm -hmm. legal immigrants. These, these 50 people that were shipped to Martha's Vineyard and then summarily booted out within 48 hours because that's how tolerant these love is love people are. Um, she should have said these are illegal aliens. They have broken the law by being here in the first place. Now we can have 
a, an honest conversation about what our immigration policy should look like and how many people should come here and do we need certain people to do certain jobs. We can have all of those conversations. Unfortunately, we can't right now because the border is basically open. And as you know, something like 2 million people have already come across the border illegally in this past year. So everything they say is a lie. And, and maybe she just wants more people to stock her, her twin uh, sub-zero fridges with uh, ice cream again. Undoubtedly, that is what she is looking for. But I do, I do love it because, of course, the people who accuse the right of being racist all the time say the most racist things every other day and they never get called out on it. That leads me to Joe Biden, who, if you didn't know, he was basically raised by Puerto Ricans. <laughs> <laughs> I cracked up on my show with this one this morning. I mean, it just is this, this the best is, story this of the be, week. I think you're going to throw to the clip, I hope. But this one might even yes. be better than Hillary and the hot sauce. It's so idiotic. <laughs> All right, here's Joe Biden talking about how he basically is a Puerto Rican. <laughs> Listen. And so I, uh, I uh, was sort of raised uh, in the Puerto Rican community at home politically. He was raised politically by the Puerto Rican at home, community at home. Um, what does he that mean? mean that it means <laughs> nothing. Doesn't... Everything this man says is meaningless dribble that he is either making up stories of corn pop or he's reading off that <laughs> teleprompter poorly. Uh, Megan, did you catch uh, Dr. Jill Biden behind him there? You can see her body language as he talks because she she's knows like, we call them he... little tacos. We call yeah. them little tacos. We don't we don't refer to them as Puerto Ricans. That's her. But speaking of racist Democrats, remember? It's yeah, so yeah, 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 like a little she, taco. She has her little tacos. Hillary carries hot sauce in her bag. AOC has a different accent when she talks to black people. But we're the racists. You got to love it. <laughs> Are you tired of feeling like someone's always watching you on the internet? Maybe the advertisers know just a little bit too much about you, or you're concerned about the privacy of your identity. Using incognito mode won't solve the problem either. IPVanish VPN is here to protect your right to privacy and to help you stay anonymous online. IPVanish helps you safely browse the internet without exposing your private details to third parties like hackers, your ISP, or advertisers. When you use IPVanish, all of your data is encrypted. This means that your private details, passwords, communications, browsing history, and more will be completely shielded from falling into the wrong hands. Even your physical location will be hidden. IPVanish is offering an incredible 70% off their yearly plan for our listeners with a 30-day money-back guarantee. That's like getting nine months for free. IPVanish is also super easy to use. All you do is tap one button and you are instantly protected. Take your privacy back today. With the brand rated 4.6 out of 5 on Trustpilot, go to ipvanish.com slash Megan and use that promo code Megan to claim your 70% savings. That's ipvanish.com slash M-E-G-Y-N. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.